What's up? I'm Cam. Tyler. And we're from Honors. We're hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. I first heard about you guys last year. Uh, All My Life came came up, and like that was incredible. Thank and then finally I get to hear you guys again. But this time I actually get to see you guys live. Great show out there. Oh, yeah. That stage was interesting, but was that, that was still a great show. It was like two stages. There was the band, <laughs> and there was me over on the right. Yeah, Ty, like Ty was on B stage. Right. He was on the he was on the B stage for sure behind the <laughs> chimney. <laughs> it was different. It was like my first like show headlining on my own. It was yeah. Cool. That was good. I was over there. You could be a solo artist. That's that shit's sick. I appreciate it. If anyone wants to see people play keyboards and uh, and a five string bass for a solo right. act. I mean, you, you have your whole setup there. I mean, I saw two laptops. I saw the, the keys. I saw everything. Like, what yeah. else do you need? We were duct taping laptops together tonight because <laughs> the stage was so small. Cam was over there. He's like wrapping my laptops in duct tape. I'm like, no, 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 not like this. You got to do it this way, it this way. <laughs> it was crazy. You made it work. Yeah, you guys did it. You guys did it. Awesome show tonight. Um, you guys are promoting a new single. But actually, you know, before we talk about the new single, um, you guys come from different bands that seem to have been successful yeah in in you know back in the day so what was the reasoning behind you know putting those down or, or g stepping away from those and just starting fresh and becoming honors what it is today i mean yeah we'll go, we'll go here first i think we we were playing what like 20 years almost now we were like we were like really young we were like 10 years old when we met and started playing music yeah. and i think at some point we were just like it's hard to play music that you wrote when you were a teenager, right. when you're not a teenager. It's like looking at old finger paintings or like looking at the clothes you wore when you were in high school. Right. And I think that we love that part of our life, but the music that we wanted to write today didn't resonate with that past catalog of music. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to like start over again. That's kind of it. Same with you? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, we all, we all write and we all got in the room and we were writing songs. We didn't know what it was for. And the songs that we wrote all sounded kind of of a piece and we're like shit this could be like a this could be a project this could yeah. be a thing so formed honors and here we are as you guys got together and formed honors like what did you guys what did you guys use in this new project that you used before in your bands or, or that you learned before in your bands that's a really good question i mean for us it's not like the, like a big departure it's just like growth mm. like there's so many elements that were in our past projects there's like elements of rock and hip hop and electronic music. It's right. just, it's those elements aged six or seven years. So it, it was never like a conscious decision to be like, oh, we need to do more of this or the writing right. needs to be more like this. It was just, you know, you change and you grow older. And if you don't, then I don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> so we just grew older and then this is what we're doing now. Right. Now with, uh, right now you guys are currently promoting Feel Better. That's the latest single. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of a light to a negative issue. That's what I mean. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I get from sure. listening For to sure. the song. I haven't heard anybody, you know, talk about something like that. What What kind of inspired that for you guys? I mean, everyone has those moments in their life where stuff's not, either isn't working out or feels like you're not where you should be or shit gets dark, right. and it's like, for us, we're doing what we love, right. and are super inspired every day. And and to be honest, we've been in positions where it hasn't been the case mm -hmm. and it feels more inspiring. You write better songs, or at least we write better songs. <laughs> we genuinely feel better, no pun intended, when you're the underdog, when, it, when it's like there's expectations, there's, there's real skin in the game, there's money on the line, it's, it's, it's a real thing. Right. And like that's when I personally feel the most into it. Because, you know, it's easy, like once things are going well, yeah, there's less less risk, less reward. Mm -hmm. And it's like when things are like at the beginning, like starting something, starting something new, it's easy to, to, to like build something, have it going well and just ride it for your, for your whole life. And I think we all hit a point where it's like, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I want to like take the risk, take the jump, do it and happier for it. Right. You know, and as, as you guys came to kind of create this track, like was it an easy track to kind of create? Um, because of the subject or was it a harder track to create because of the subject easy easy super easy I, I i find that like all the best stuff happens like that it happens like you're just in the room you say some stuff and you're like oh that's something right. and it like all the best songs that at least i've ever written have happened in the, in a span of 20 minutes and it's like the stuff that uh takes a lot longer usually usually isn't that right i know this song is uh one of the songs from the upcoming debut album. Mm -hmm. um, when you guys went into the studio to create this record, like, 
because of your previous projects, you guys were fortunate to work with mega producers back in the day. So, you know, who did we bring into this album to, to collaborate with? I mean, for the most part, I would say it's like nobody really. That was the whole point of, of Honors was like, we were sick of like doing writing sessions with people and co-production. We all produce on our own. We've been writing songs since we were kids. We were like, fuck it. Like if we can't do this, the four of us, yeah. why the fuck do we do this anyway? Right. So the whole point was to like really just get back to like basics of writing songs together. And um, like on the record, there's one song produced by our boy ENT from LA uh, called Fuck With My High. And he's the only like actual producer producer on the record other than us. And then okay. our boy Mitty did a bunch of like co-production on three or four songs with us. So basically what we saw on your side stage is what you used for the record. Yeah, like that, that, that is our studio on stage. <laughs> nice. That was the best part about our live show. We're like, let's just bring the studio on stage, right? fly with it. Yeah, today one of the things wasn't working so well and we were like, oh, god damn. It's all right. Yeah. Then, but we, get, then we get a solo somewhere well, else, right? figure it out. If the keyboard goes down, you pick up an acoustic guitar, you, you make it work. Now, tell me a little bit about this debut album. Like, what is the idea behind this record? If, if somebody were to listen to this record, what is it that you kind of want them to get out of it? I mean, I feel like it's one of those things where, like, feel better, so the album's going to be called Feel Better. Mm. And it's it sort of sums it up in terms of, like, you hit points where you feel like life's not working, you hit a dead end, yeah. things are weird, what the hell am I doing? I feel like, I mean, at least we felt like that. And through that you know s struggle and journey you find out that like that's that's what it's about right. like that's what the fun stuff is it, it is being down it is being the underdog it is being you know that's kind of that's kind of where we were coming from so it's like at the end of the day it's like you're appreciating all the hard work that you guys i mean it kind of it goes with what you said like you were tired of that kind of stardom that success you wanted to start all over doing it all on your own yeah, like from a personal point of view, that's how we felt. But I think there's like, you know, a more macro level of like everybody in life feeling like whether it's social media, whatever, everyone's always just showing the best yeah. all the time. That's like true. The best version of themselves. I look hot here. My makeup's right here. I'm, I look cool here. And like there's something to be said for embracing the other moments because right. everyone at the end of the day knows all this shit's bullshit. And, you know, I think it, for us it was like, well, we're used to kind of being up here and we're certainly down here right now. Yeah. But like embrace that because if we can do that, then that maybe can be a voice to other people right. to do that as well. And like not everything's always great and beautiful and tailored. Sometimes it's like the realest shit's the best shit. Right. Yeah, 100% it's the fun stuff. I want to eat chips in bed and hang out with my friends and smoke <laughs> cigarettes. Like what the hell are we doing? Come on. It's the truth. It's the truth. Now, you know, I, which, which track out of this record, like, challenge you guys to create which one was the hard one to to put to paper which one was the hard one to get that riff or get that kind of sound that you guys wanted to get like on it cam said the oldest songs that we had that took the longest to write we know there's something meaningful there that like clearly whether it's the band or our manager or our friends are like man we gotta finish that song yeah. and like those are frustrating because you know cam's always said like let's just write another song fuck this song like this song is this song don't rewrite the chorus right. So there's a couple on there that were definitely like early childs of there's this like, project. One especially, it's called Compromise. It's actually the, the song we're putting out next. Okay. And we like wrote this song super quick. It happened in literally 15 minutes. We were all like, man, this can't happen this easy. We have to go back in and like, this isn't done. Like it's, right. it can't be done. And we fiddled around and tried to write new parts and new beats and new choruses. And we ended up actually putting out the version that we wrote in 20 minutes. Yeah. So it's like, after that over that like we have a whole we have a whole album of compromise version 1 to 18 that all sound like different songs and, and we ended up and what we ended up settling on and what we liked the most is what we put out and what we wrote in the first 20 minutes so yeah. it's just like that that was one that like it didn't take a long time but it sort of did take a long time to realize that like your instincts are right you know yeah. Maybe sometimes it's better to just not think. Just let that emotion flow. Best thing to not think. I have to tell myself <laughs> that all the time. He's good at that. Cam's good at being like, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. I'm much more like, no, but we got to fuck it a little less. And, yeah. But like, it's, uh, that's the balance of being in a band. Is, it is what it is. You know? Yeah. Right. Now, with, with the four of you guys, how do you guys you know, get together in the studio? How do you guys create music? What, what is that kind of chemistry like? We've been writers and producers, almost all of us individually in our own right. So we come up with a lot of starts ourselves where we'll be like, he'll be in his house writing a song. I'll be in my house writing a song. We sort of bring in starts to each other where it's like, here's like a lyric or here is a beat or here is, you know, a verse. 
and we'll all kind of pitch each other ideas and whatever all of us are like, yeah, 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 I want that. We'll stick on that and then try and flesh it out. That's usually how it works. Generally, like, it's really obvious now with us. Like, we'll all circulate emails of, like, demos and beats. And you know if, like, you get a bunch of responses in the next day, yeah. like, I'm on to something. And if you don't, we're at a point now this many years together where, like, you don't get upset about it. Right. You're not like, oh, man. You understand like, the process. Like, That's what it is. And then sometimes, like, you know, Cam will send me something that at first I don't think is great or, like, I hear it once and it's whatever. And then two months later it comes on again. I'm like, Cam, like, yo, you were on to something. Yeah. So we all just kind of trust each other that at some point the best stuff will rise to the surface. Right. It's like the important part is to just keep being productive and keep writing and keep doing your thing and you know the best rises of service right for sure now for this for this project you guys have only had one collaboration and that's with someone that I've been super excited about her voice uh, Molly Kate Kessner yeah. um, yeah. I discovered her through online years ago really? um, and I'm actually like I'm actually surprised like she's not bigger than she is right now but you know so what what drew you to her and you know how did that collaboration kind of happen um, yeah my my good friend was friends with her publisher and was like yeah I'm taking a meeting at this publishing house Ty you got to come through today you got to meet the publisher and you got to meet Molly. So I sat in a boardroom. It was like super sterile at first. It was me, Molly, the head of marketing at APG, and my buddy. And then I played Molly two songs. And she was like, yo, like this is a vibe. And she played me a couple of her things. And then she came over the next day, I think, or two days later. And we just sat in my room and like in 30 minutes had that whole song done. And she tracked it on like a mic kind of like this, yeah. like not a real <laughs> microphone. And we ended up keeping What are you trying to say, man? I mean, it's a good <laughs> microphone. It looked like, I don't know how to hold it or, or what to do with it, but. Damn Canadians. Dude, if it doesn't hang upside down and look see through, he, he, he wants no part. Yeah, but yeah, Mom. All right, go ahead. She's just, she, she's an incredible singer. Like, like she, she makes us look good on that song. Listening to the song, I love how the vocals kind of go with you guys. It, it, it's not, it's not a different, like, it's not, it's not weird. Does that make sense? Yeah, like it's a very like vulnerable song and like I was I played it for Cam like two two years ago maybe one night back in Toronto when I hadn't been home in a while and he was like, Yo, like this is some shit yeah. and I was like, Oh, thank you and he was like, Yeah, we could rock this shit. So then Cam like took the bass out, took the drums out, made it like nastier, he made it hit a lot harder and then like went back, we tweaked it out a bit, but it was a cool thing with me and her. Like, I wrote like the first line of the song. She wrote the second. I wrote the yeah. third. It was like a very like bullshit cliche way to write a love song for two people who have never met. And like, she had a husband. I know her husband. Like, it wasn't weird at all. We just like right. got in a room and it was like, I felt these things. You felt these things, and it came together like super, right. super quick. And even that acoustic session was like amazing. Like that was incredible. Thank you. That's Molly. Yeah, that was. I mean, oh, that's. Opens her mouth, and you're just like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> Okay, that was super last minute. That, that was in the YouTube space in New York. And we didn't know what we were doing and just sort of set the gear up and like Molly killed that ship. That's so sick. So now, you know, uh, the, the debut album drops November 9th. Uh, what are the plans once it drops? Uh, can we expect some tours coming up for you guys? Because I know you guys were out here in LA for a little bit, but I think you guys are ready for a tour. You guys, I mean, you guys had a sold out show in San Francisco with Nambe yeah, a couple man, days ago. Ready. I think you guys are ready for that shit. That's the move. We're, we're going to try and play as many shows as possible, and then obviously we're already recording the next thing. So it's like, it's a bit of both, you know? You're yeah. not even letting me enjoy this first record. I mean, you can enjoy it. You're, you're, you're not going to hear anything for a long time, but, but we got to start. I'll tell you the link for the whole record right now. <laughs> yeah. Right now. It's unmixed. unmixed. That's, what, that's what every artist says when he gets super insecure about his yeah. record. He's like, sorry, it's unmixed. It's unmixed. Things will change. Yeah. I'm gonna once it once it comes it's for sure. <laughs> once it comes out, I'm gonna put them side by side. And be like, no, it's it the was same. Mixed. It was mixed. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. I mean, congratulations on your music on on tonight's show. Uh, you guys, be sure to check out Honors. They have a debut album called Feel Better dropping November 9th. And thanks for watching here on Front Row Live. Nailed it.